you guys, I just got an amazing DM from one of our past students, him and his friend, they were real estate investors, they came to the training, and this was probably maybe eight, nine months ago. They sat front row, I remember them the whole time because they had such fun energy, we talked on all the breaks, they had an amazing time. And they went home to Southern California and they just bought a three pack. I just got a DM literally last night of them saying, guess what? We are coming to NatCon to pick up our award. We opened three care homes. We are so excited, so grateful for the training. So I wanna break down their numbers a little bit. You know that I always tell you to go to genworth.com forward slash cost of care to find the average rates in your area. Well, they're in Temecula, California. P.S. One of my favorites, okay? Love the wineries, love the vibe. It is the best. And it's right outside of San Diego. So like it's a little bit of best, best of both worlds, right? You can go to the beach real quick. So in Temecula, the average rates are $5,324 per person according to genworth.com forward slash cost of care. Well, I asked them what are their average rates and they said that they're charging $6,000 per month per resident. They have six residents in the home, so they're bringing in $36,000 every single month of their monthly gross income. Now, in California, many people stop at six beds. Why? Well, because for years, the state of California was saying that you can only have six residents in a home and They've recently changed things, but you have to add fire suppression. You have to have the square footage. And in California, real estate is expensive. So many people, they do stop at six because they say that's gonna be a little bit easier for me. Now it's Temecula, it's a gorgeous home. It's a five bed, four bath. Their mortgage is $10,000 every single month. It costs them a pretty penny, but is it worth it? Let's find out. The average cost to run the home, right, every single month paying their staff, their food, their utilities, activities, you name it, $20,000 right there for their expenses, $10,000 for the mortgage. That's leaving them with $6,000 of cash flow every single month as the care home owner and operator. Now, that's a pretty good number on a six bed care home in California. By the way, in California, they're called RCFE, residential care for the elderly. Depending on where you live in the country, there may be a different name. They may not be calling it RAL in your area. There's about 22 different names across the country. So make sure that you know what it's called. I digress. California, RCFE, a six bed cash flowing 6K a month, not bad. Now, these guys didn't just do this once, they opened three care homes since they came to the training. Now, they're definitely winning award at the national convention, but I'm so excited for them and to see their success. You know, they're not the only ones seeing this type of success. We have students coming in from all across the country, not just California, not just Arizona or Florida or wherever you think old people live. Listen, raise your hand if you're getting older or know someone who is. We all have aging loved ones and there is a need for everyone in every part of the country. If you are in California, you can make it work, even with a home where the mortgage is $10,000 a month. I mean, think about what that can buy you. Now, if you're in another part of the country, you could definitely be getting a McMansion, right? California, you're probably getting a somewhat normal-ish home, okay? Depending on what part of the state you're in. But for these guys, a three pack, each of them cash flowing around that six to $8,000 a month, they're doing a-okay, and I love that for them. You know, if you are interested in learning how you can be like these guys and take those next steps, come to the three day and learn what you need to do to get your home up and running, you need to schedule an enrollment call. Me or the team will walk you through what are the average rates in your area. We'll go through and help you find that so you can know and determine, will this even work in your area? We'll also talk about how many residents you can have in that city or county so that we can run through the numbers. We'll maybe even play with the profitability calculator together so we can run those projections and see, is 6K enough for you? Are you gonna need more than one? Maybe two, maybe three, maybe four? You know, some of you, your goal is to have 100 of these and I'm cool with that. Whatever your goal is, let's talk about it. When we get on the phone together, we'll go through this step-by-step step so that you can start cash flowing just like them and send me that DM, baby. I wanna know that you're successful. I wanna know that you made it happen. You changed your life. You took this from an idea and you put it into action and now you're improving the senior industry one care home at a time. I'll catch you on that call.